Hi, it's me for Steve TV. I'm here at uh, Cleland National Park and I just squatted down on the ground on my plastic bag because the ground's wet. And look who's with me. Hello, sweetheart. A little kangaroo, she's quite tame, eh? Aren't she? I don't know, I think you might be a boy. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Would you like some food? I've got some food for you. Maybe I can get a little response. She's just sitting here. Mind her own business, having a bit of a kip under a tree on a hillside. There's Paul over there with a couple. There you go. Hey, some food? Oh. Hey, I've got food. Oh. Can you bother standing up? Oh. oh, you're not even going to stand up to eat it. Good on you, you lazy cow. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is Steve TV again. I forgot to turn on the camera, so I better do it. He's talking really, really quietly because there's no camera. And there's like little birds in this aviary from Cle at Cleland National Park. And there's all different little Australian bush birds flittering around. They're, they're finches and parrots, they're, they're so tiny. I'll see if I can show you some but it's going to be more about listening to the birds, so I'll shut up. There's a little nest up there, right there. And see the mother or father, they're very hard to see. There they are, two of them, I can just see them hidden between the branches. I'll try and zoom in. Beautiful look, they're either feeding each other or kissing each other. I think that's the mother and the father there that I'm looking at. Aren't they adorable? Little sweethearts. So this is where birds come from, guys. Not from a pet shop. This is what it's like in the bush. That's a swoopy swallow. <laughs> it's a little joke that we've got. Little sweetheart. Paul. There you go, 
there's that one with the blue wings. Wild lorikeets overhead. Just so that you can get an idea, we're on the side of a hill that overlooks uh, Mount Lofty. That is the hill that we're on, and it's part of the Mount Lofty Ranges, which is also known as the Adelaide Hills, and it overlooks Adelaide, something like um, the hills would do to LA. Well, there's even little birds in the in the brush here. There's one. He's, he's dark green. You can hardly see him. Is that a kiwi? Wow. I don't know if you saw him because I can barely see him myself. He's running along the fence. Stevie Attenborough here. <laughs> On to the kangaroos and the emus. I love birds. Reservoirs. We're, this is the wetlands area. There's all these little duckies. There's a crow having a wash over there in the tree. Up in there somewhere. Paul was just looking at That's a crow you can hear. Hello little duckies. Quick, 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 I feel really at zen here in this beautiful bushland on top of a hill near Adelaide where I was put on this planet. So this is the wetlands area. You can see through there, we're on the side of a hill. All the ghost gums. Bird life is amazing here, just naturally. It's just where they live. Oh look, there, a couple of ibises. Oh, there's a big swan over there. Big narky swan across the river, across the pond. going on up there? It's an ibis. Two. Two ibis. Two ibis. One ibis. There's a little blue finch here in a tree right next to us. Come to have a look. See they know we have food so they're interested in us. They're thinking oh here comes some more humans to feed us. Well, there's pelicans over there. It's the first full gone storm boy. <laughs> Look at them all in there. Yes, yeah, it's a beautiful day for a wash if you're a bird. All flapping around and having a clan. How's this tree? It does sound like water, doesn't it? Maybe it's a waterfall here. There's a little potteroos 
keep on running across the path. They look about the size of a large rat. And, but they're really not like a rat, they're like a tiny kangaroo, they're really cute. I'll show you some if we come across some that are tame, well, they're all tame. Look at that. Pelican Island. Pelican Island. This is on top of a hill, on top of the Adelaide Hills. Isn't that cool? So here we are, and this is a swamp Avery. I don't know what these birds are. Freckled duck, egrets, got like little spoonbills. What they're doing, the water's really muddy, and what they're doing is they're shoveling up the water and picking bits out of the water. And there's also these little unusual birds as well. Have long chopsticks for beaks. Pick things up and they fling them down their throat. With such skill, I guess that's all they ever do, so it's the only skill that they do have apart from flying. I'm not even sure if they fly. Oh look, he just got off the ground. Look at him, isn't he beautiful? He's at because it's sunny, first sunny day in ages, they're opening their wings and Black spoonbill's got a top one, there's a white one, hasn't he? He might be a male and she might be a female. He's quite beautiful, and so she. Oh, look at that little one. one with long legs oh, down yes. there. What's the little black and white one called? A white headed stilt. A little, little stilt. A hippocantipus. A hippocantipus. A hippocantipus. A hippocantipus. A now to camera. Lick your phallus. Lick your own phallus. <laughs> he can with that beak. I love that one with the head of wings up. And then the yeah, it's, it, in the sunlight, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but in the sunlight, it's this brilliant sort of deep reddy brown. And it's got a greenish tinge. Yeah, it's, it's got a shine on it like pheasants do. Totally ignoring you. I love the way they just pick them up, fling them down their neck. Yeah. Very clever. It's sort of like a purple tinge on on his wings. It's green. Though, and greens it? as well. And blacks. Oh, hey, it stinks. It doesn't. It reeks. It's because it's really stinky mud. A little duck here as well. Come <laughs> Mr. Vet, yeah, I like those. The way it's walking. He was like, doot, 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 doot. Doot, 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 doot. Yeah, I'm walking. trying to zoom in on them. People watching this must be going crazy with my camera work, but here you go. I love how this, um, oh wow, look at the big nest up there. What is that? There's a nest above our head. Oh, it must be the egret's nest. That's that amazing. is so oh, look, cool. In there. Oh, there's one in there. I think it's an art. Ibis. Oh, oh, look at her. Oh, wow. Sitting on a nest. I love how the um, trees grow into the neck and sort of push up against it all in the phone. Oh, isn't that so cool? That's very cool. It's spring. She's laid her eggs. Well, there you go. Here on Steve TV. Hello, what is it called? An Uber, uh, an Uber. I think it's a spoonbill ibis, I think. A called. spoonbill ibis. That's like yellow one of those build. ones that are down there. Yeah, yellow-billed spoonbill. Isn't they gorgeous? 